Hello and welcome to News Hamster. My name is Anuj and you are watching our special interview series Sandarshana. In this series we talk to people from across the field and try and get a little bit of sneak peek into their mind and their process of preparing for their particular field. For today's episode we will be talking to a National Film Award winner uh, and if he winner and of course a Filmfare Award winner Miss Anjali Patil will try to get the understanding of the sense of her struggle of her process and also try and have a conversation about several other things happening in the society and of course in the hindi film industry through the course of this interview firstly thanks a lot for agreeing to do this i mean i've said this enough number of times but genuinely on behalf of everyone really thank you first things first i'd like to wish you a very happy new year oh, and that is year. that is what i actually want to ask you right how does it feel entering a new year at this point of your life as against say in your young, younger days I think I have a I have more clarity about you know first of all I actually slept around eleven thirty eleven o'clock before this twelve o'clock ta hoo ha and because uh, before I used to feel that you know we do something in the party mein jate hai. but as I am growing up that's what I would like to call like you know I don't say that okay you know you're growing old but I think with each year I'm like just becoming more mature. my priorities are very clear uh, i do not want to miss my morning session uh, the next day so i treated like a normal day i slept early uh, cooked for my loved ones uh, rutu my bhabhi and uh, then they were studying i was studying and then we just like said good night so it was as normal a day as any other day is yes perhaps. yes exactly and uh, even the 1st of jan was really simple uh, we wanted to celebrate it with uh, uh, with couple of other people uh, and so me my dad and rutu uh, we went to a place where we normally visit uh, it's a special house for uh, older people uh, so we just went there uh, sang you know sang with them they were doing prayers and uh, they were also having it was a sunday so there was a mass happening yeah. so that's how we just celebrated the first jan and okay yeah came this back. is this this is amazing this is perfect for say you and your family mm-hmm. but i want to know more of you and the kind of introspection you go through or if you do in case like with the start of new year you know there's this trend of resolutions and you know new year new me sort of things yeah. so do you think like that or have you not entered that zone i don't think that kind of you know happens uh-huh. because i feel that bahut sari cheeze already aap kar rahe hote ho you know there are lot of things that are already kind of happening so 2022 was one of the best year for me uh because i ventured into uh writing and direction officially i mean 2020 was the year when i shot my first documentary and in the la- i'm and then 2021 i finished it uh and then sent it to the festivals so it went to almost 35 plus festivals in 2022 uh i one of my project got selected to nfdc script writing lab other project got selected to co-production market so a lot of things happened in 2022 okay. so i was jokingly saying to a friend that uh, 2022 mein jitna kaam kiya hai usse double 2023 mein karna padega uh, i went to can uh, uh, cannes film festival uh, and did like tremendous work so i think there is not going to be like there is a new me which happens okay. but not with the year mm-hmm. when i travel when there is end of something or when i end a project or i finish something that's when i know that there is a shift in a perspective mm-hmm. that the older ideas with which i was living mm-hmm. or with which i was uh, approaching my problems or my life or my career Uh, or my art for that matter they are not serving me okay. so so i kind of become zero mm-hmm. and then there is a new me mm-hmm. but it is not so it has nothing to do with say the the no, the new year concept okay no. it's great that you talked about 
uh, you venturing into documentary because that is what I wanted to focus first. Now, I love the documentary. I had the privilege of watching it. I'll come to the content a little later. But I have this very pertinent question which I've been wanting to ask someone with that much of information and who better than you? You've just made your directorial debut. What I want to ask is ki agar hum raste pe jaye aur koi bhi jo Indian layman content consumer hai, not necessarily a avid movie watcher, but anyone. Aur agar hum unse ja ke puchhe ki documentary ke bare mein aapko kya lagta hai and not give any context. The only thing probably that will come to their mind would be documentaries related to say Discovery or Animal Planet. And that is perhaps because the mainstream documentaries which are related to entertainment pop culture are still not as popular perhaps in india as they should be or as they are in the west and the question the reason why i ask this question is because jaise ki aapki bhi documentary hai because i feel that it's a really see a liberal and a very open uh, kind of a concept or a way to look at womanhood so it's really interesting and mostly documentaries they venture into understanding see the oppressed communities but agar jin communities ke bare mein documentary mein baat ki ja rahi hai अगर उन कम्युनिटी के लोगों को ही उसको एक्सेस कर पाना इतना मुश्किल हो रहा है देन हाउ डू वी रियली चेंज इट एज अ डायरेक्टर हाउ डू यू लुक एट इट इट्स अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन आई मीन आई स्ट्रगल्ड विद इट व्हेन आई मेड दिस फिल्म मेरे दिमाग में एक चीज बहुत ही क्लियर थी कि दिस इज नॉट टू प्रूव एनीथिंग टू एनीबडी दिस इज फॉर मी टू एक चीज मेरे दिमाग में आई है एक कॉन्सेप्ट मेरे दिमाग में आया है एंड आई वॉन्ट टू make it and finish it on like by myself on my own without thinking ki you know mere paas crew nahi hai paise nahi hai log nahi hai means nahi hai can i make it can i just me alone and with uh, of course i mean at the end of the process i realized that so many people just came forward and helped me making it uh which was great learning so coming back to the question that how do we change this Even while making it, I knew that अगर बड़े फेस्टिवल्स में जाती हूँ तो वाह बहुत अच्छा है मगर जब मुझे पता चला कि ओके बड़ा बड़े फेस्टिवल का भी एक अलग पॉलिटिक्स है बड़े फेस्टिवल्स की भी एक अलग लॉबिंग है वहाँ पर भी एक अलग क्लास कल्चर चलता है और मैं बहुत दिनों तक आई थिंक फॉर लॉर्ड ऑफ मंथ्स मैं रिजेक्शन्स के मतलब रिजेक्शन्स आफ्टर रिजेक्शन्स मैं फेस कर रही थी और फिर उसके बाद मैंने सारे फेस्टिवल्स में उसको डालना शुरू किया लाइक सो कॉल्ड बी सी सारे इट्स लाइक दो साल का फेस्टिवल है आई डोंट केयर आई वांट पीपल टू सी द फिल्म एंड दैट्स व्हाट रियली हैपेंड आई वेंट टू मदुराई वेयर द फिल्म वाज सिलेक्टेड तेईस साल से एक बंदा मदुराई में अलग अलग वेन्यूज में ऑल ही इज डूइंग इज दैट स्क्रीनिंग दीज फिल्म फ्राम अमेरिका फ्राम यूरोप और स्कूल के बच्चे कॉलेज के बच्चे लड़कियाँ औरतें यू नो एक स्क्रीनिंग में मैं ऐसे देख रही हूँ कि देर आर दीज एब्सल्यूटली यू नो सिंपल मिडल एज वुमेन विद ऑल द गजराज और एवरी थिंग मतलब मम्मी मेरी मम्मी जैसी औरतें आके दे वर वॉचिंग दिस फिल्म ऑन यू नो अमेरिकन इंडियंस and it was amazing that there are people who are trying to uh, you know do stuff on their own level and that's inspiring so yes number game hai yes big platforms hai but if i try and be authentic in that one step that i am doing as an artist and if i am clear ki i just wanted to have a discussion i want to make my film so uh, you know they are seen and reached uh, to people and it kind of happens i i i'm seeing it happening somehow you just need to be very honest and authentic uh, about it uh keep doing it that's what one thing that i can suggest also to myself because there is a tendency ki hamari society ne uh, success ki jo माँ मतलब पैरामीटर्स एग्जैक्टली डेफिनेशंस जो है वो है कि अगर मैंने अपनी डॉक्यूमेंट्री बनाई है तो कुछ बहुत बड़े पर्दे पे ही आनी चाहिए या बड़े प्लेटफॉर्म पे ही आनी चाहिए एंड दैट्स व्हेन इट इज़ सक्सेसफुल आई डोंट थिंक सो आई थिंक व्हेन व्हेन आई मेड द फिल्म एंड आई फिनिश्ड इट एंड वी हैड अ फर्स्ट स्क्रीनिंग आई टोल्ड माई फ्रेंड्स दैट एनी इसके बाद जो भी कुछ होता है वो मेरे एक्स्ट्रा ब्राउनी पॉइंट्स है 
क्योंकि मैंने यहीं तक मैंने इससे ज़्यादा कुछ भी एक्सपेक्ट नहीं किया था इससे आगे जो भी कुछ होता है इट्स यू नो इट इज़ ऑल एक्स्ट्रा सो आई थिंक इफ इट डजेंट गेट ऑन टू अ प्लेटफॉर्म सो कॉल्ड यू नो ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म आई थिंक आई लेंड अप शेयरिंग इट ऑन यूट्यूब सो दैट जस्ट पीपल कैन वॉच इट फॉर फ्री दिस वन मोर थिंग दैट आई रियली लाइक अबाउट द डॉक्यूमेंट्री यू नो आई एम स्टिल कीपिंग द कॉन्टेंट डिसाइड the fact that there were so many women technicians who were involved into making it i mean we have this tendency i would not say just in india but i think it's a global tendency to preach something and not to practice it ourselves so i think you you i mean lots of appreciation for you for actually taking that step and beginning it from your own house now i want to talk a little about you talked about the concept ki kaise ye concept aapko hit hua and then you felt ki isko shuruaat se leke ant tak aapko hi pura karna padega इट इज़ यूजली सेड कि एज अ डायरेक्टर हम जो भी कहानी बताते हैं सबसे पहली वो कहानी बचपन से हमारे साथ रहती है राइट विच इज़ वाई द फर्स्ट फिल्म फॉर अ डायरेक्टर इज लाइक द फर्स्ट बेबी विच इज़ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट वन वॉज इट द सेम थिंग विद दिस इन अ वे येस बट इसकी भी एक कहानी है सो so, 2019 में जब मैं ऐसे ही एक uh, मतलब मैं इट वॉज न्यू ईयर और मैं जल्दी सो रही थी और मुझे बहुत भयंकर फोमो हो रहा था कि ओ मैं क्या कर रही हूँ यू नो और 2019 के उस न्यू ईयर की रात में दिस कॉन्सेप्ट एक्चुअली हिट मी कि मैं आई एम नीदर द गर्ल दैट आई वाज आई यूज टू बी और आई एम आल्सो नॉट गोइंग टू बी द वुमन दैट आई थॉट आई विल बिकम यू नो एक इमेज भी रहती है कि मैं जब यू you नो know, मैं जब तीस की होंगी मैं पैंतीस की हूँ वेन आई बिकम अ वुमन वुमेन That's how I will be, and then I was having this FOMO. Okay, yar, I'm missing out. Those Mumbai me, kuch kuch log party kar rahe hain, kuch kuch log kahi communities me uh, enjoy kar rahe hain, nature me koi log trekking pe ja rahe hain. Yeh sari cheeze ho rahi thi, and you can see it on social media. Oh, what am I doing? You know, I'm pav bhaji kha ke. I'm just like sleeping now. Pone pone gyara baje me so rahi hu. Uh, and that's that was the moment I wrote like a big essay. Uh, in that night, and then pandemic के uh, during the first wave lockdown के दौरान मैंने तीन अपनी जो दोस्त हैं जिन्होंने perform किया काम किया documentary में उनको मैंने ये concept uh, that was just a one pager which I sent to them. So in a way, this was happening from last few years as an actor because I was also going through a lot of transition that uh, typecast एक इशू है ओ मदर रोल से एक इशू है ओ आई एम स्टिल आई स्टिल फील लाइक अ गर्ल लाइक अ वेरी यंग गर्ल एंड देन आई आई एम गेटिंग यू नो रोल्स फॉर अ मदर एंड आई एम आई एम सेइंग नो टू देम बिकॉज आई डोंट फील लाइक अ मदर एनी मोर बट यू नो आई मीन देर आर ऑल दीज परम्यूटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ थिंग्स दैट आई एम डीलिंग विथ माई सेल्फ विथ माई बॉडी विथ माई माइंड एंड आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू यू नो share that yeah with other people other other women uh that kya tum logon ke dimag mein bhi aisa kuch aata hai kya aapko bhi aisa lagta hai ki ki hum thode displaced hain uh and not in a preachy way not in a way where you know ki oh we want to talk about not as a victimhood or anything but just very gently just gently whispering something so so that was the idea behind neither a girl nor a woman now i want to talk a little bit about anjali the actor of course we ventured into direction and writing but i would because some of the films and some of the scenes especially that you were a part of were were really hard hitting what i want to know is that you've i think frequently worked in different types of cinema different languages of course over the course of the last decade but one thing that has been common in all these roles is that the women women characters which you played they've been extremely strong headed they've been extremely independent you know they're not there just for the sake of being there they're there if their value is required for that scene what i want to understand is that were you consciously making these decisions of choosing such characters or is that what came to your mind was that just intuitive were you just attracted towards such characters Yeah I think now when I look back in retrospect um uh, I think it's everything we are the choices we yeah. become what you know we choose 
सो आई डेफिनेटली यूज टू मतलब शुरुआत में मुझे ऐसा लगता था कि ओ, क्योंकि मैं एन से हूँ क्योंकि मैंने पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी में ड्रामा स्कूल में पढ़ाई की है तो दो डिफरेंट ड्रामा स्कूल्स में और बहुत ज़्यादा यू नो बहुत पढ़ाकू हो द अप्रोच टू योर आर्ट आपके काम के लिए का बहुत ही मेथोडिकल है तो वो नो नॉनसेंस जो एटीट्यूड एक रहता है व्हेन यू कम आउट ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन आई थिंक दैट दैट्स देयर फॉर श्योर दैट वाज देयर एंड दैट विल बी देयर फॉर श्योर I mean, not like every NSD actor chooses great scripts, anyways. Yeah, but but still, I mean, there is a part of you know uh, the institutional mindset. Yes, उसके बहुत सारे फायदे भी हैं, बहुत सारा नुकसान भी है, क्योंकि शायद मैं मतलब मैं बहुत सारे लोग जो institute से आते हैं, especially NSD से, बहुत सारा समय लग जाता है. क्योंकि हम इतने ज़्यादा आर्टिस्टिक होते हैं और इतने ज़्यादा आर्ट की इतनी सारी कॉन्सेप्ट्स और आइडियाज़ होती हैं कि दिस इज़ आर्ट दिस इज़ बुलशिट कमर्शियल तो आर्ट है ही नहीं तो वो अंडन करने में ही बहुत ज़्यादा समय लगा आई थिंक इन ओनली रीसेंट फ्यू कपल ऑफ ईयर्स आई स्टार्टेड टू लुक एट कमर्शियल सिनेमा एंड देन एक्सेप्ट द फैक्ट दैट ओ ओके दिस इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट यू नो Uh, because you have been trained to look down upon okay. commercial popular uh, stuff because we were studying ki oh, pop culture mein ye hota hai oh commercial mein ye hota hai but we are artists so this uh, this is one of the kya kehte hain matlab uh, problems also when you come from an institute i think me as my individual personality also has a lot of uh, part to play in these choices which i never gave the credit i never gave to myself uh, but now when i look back uh, i know the young girl that i i was uh, or the way i have been brought up in my family uh, because there was no no othering there was no hierarchy in my family uh, and it it's pretty cool and pretty weird uh, to have a family in a very small town called nashik in a middle class marathi background but now that i look back i i can see that my parents and my family is really cool and they were very cool even back then uh there was no difference between my brother me or my sister uh and i was brought up like that my dad was very clear uh, with my mom that you no know, my girls will not get into this cleaning and cooking and the stuff that were supposed to be done by girls um, in 10 ye- this is i'm talking about 15 years ago um, so they will do it if they want to do it if they want to sustain and survive they will do it they will you know look after themselves but not for not for because they want to get you know ready to get married or blah 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 kal hi main kisi se baat kar rahi thi uh one of my director friend came and we were chatting up and he was like but i'm not sure ki abhi you know we were like pitching ideas to each other and he was like ki i have this idea magar mujhe pata nahi tha ki abhi tum interested hogi ye character karne mein nahi and i was like yaar 5 6 saal pehle kya tha na ki main thi gareeb theek hai fir mujhe roles bhi aa rahe gareeb logon ke और मुझे बहुत गुस्सा आता था कि यार मैं मैं खुद भी गरीब हूँ और मुझे रोल्स भी बहुत ऐसे गरीब ही लोगों के आ रहे तो मैं मैं चिढ़ जाती थी कि वाई दिस क्लास डिफरेंस आई मीन आई वाई कैन नॉट आई बी आई कैन नॉट बी लाइक अ वेरी यू नो हाई क्लास वुमेन जस्ट बिकॉज आई एम डार्क स्किन जस्ट बिकॉज आई एम आई कम फ्रॉम अ मिडिल क्लास फैमिली यू नो दे आर पुटिंग मी दे आर पिनिंग मी डाउन इन इन दिस क्लास ऑल्सो इन you know in an imaginary illusionary world uh but things change now because because throughout the time i realized ki people who come to me they look at me uh as a rep- representation of a certain class mm-hmm. whether it's tribal whether it's uh be it anything whether it's a very strong headed woman mm-hmm. for for them because of my choices so far i already represent a certain suppressed uh, community and 
and it took me a while to appreciate it acknowledge it and take it as a responsibility mm-hmm. as well that you know this is also something that i need to do uh because i do represent a certain class and caste and struggle and politics uh so it took me a while to accept that and i also didn't stay garib so <laughs> so that also changed yeah. <laughs> it's interesting you said two things right yes. firstly you talked about being angry yeah. because you were poor and you were being offered roles of poor people and yes. then of course that change happened when you s- looked at yourself as a representative of a particular a very like huge community yeah so today when you can in retrospect look back at both those periods in your life is there any regret this is a very good question because in last 3 months that's what i have been like thinking that you know there were a lot of big films that i said no to there were also films which did very good in festival circuit but i said no because they offered the, it was a stereotypical role um i myself w- i was developing certain projects with with anahat films and yes my my uh, production house which we started last year two years ago uh and all and the script didn't develop in in the way that i wish to as a female producer and as an actor uh and of course we have to part ways uh and it it was a of course it hits you it kind of it's it's like a 6 months 7 months of um, time uh and and a lot of energy which which you cannot buy from you know any huge amount of money it's just sheer energy that you put into something uh and that will probably not happen now so it kind of hits you but you also realize that uh it's not about uh the rigidity that oh okay now i have taken this decision and i have to stand by it uh that's rigid that's against nature i kind of looked at it and realized that yes i will have to stand by that decision uh because in that point of time i felt that you know this this is not enough this i wanted more space and what was offered to me uh was not enough so i will not eat it because it's not enough and i'll go and i'll find something or i'll create mai khud beej boongi mai khud apni fasal ugaungi aur mai khaungi jitna mujhe chahiye kyunki meri bhook bahut zyada hai 